Hello viewers, I am Ayana Jayabalan. Now we will see that one uh, angular resolver. So angular resolver is nothing but for example, uh, if you getting into the component, for example, if you want to load the data means in the ng on init, we will call the API and we will load that, we will get the data and then finally we will render in that component view, okay. So what will happen? So definitely, uh, we we'll, we supposed to put some loading icon to uh, unt until then in that loading icon will show. After that loading icon is uh, after your API return the uh, data, your loading icon will be closed, and then you will show the data. Correct. So but if you want to load the component only after receiving the value from the api okay it's a that, that it means that you are prefetching the data before getting into the component okay so to do that what you can do you can achieve the using the resolver okay basically we will define this resolver in the angular route what it will do if you if angular if you see if Angular see any the result function which is mentioned in that path what it will do before loading that component what it will do it will go and call that function and and it resolve to load the data from the API once it's fetched from the data there it will start to load that the respective component in the page okay let's see that one how we can prefetch the data before navigating to the component it's a pre-step process before navigating to the component okay let's get into the implementation now i'm just using the existing project uh, which i have used so in that i'm just going to define one route how it will how uh, normally we will do that one So we can load uh, prefetch. We didn't create any component now. So I'm just going to create one component here. So I'm going to create a one component prefetch. Just now component is created. So let me specify that component. Okay, so when I am navigating to the prefetch, what will happen? This component will be loaded. Okay, so now let get let me getting into that uh, TS file. So what I want to do, I just want to uh, load the data. Okay, to mimic that one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, use a timer five seconds. After that, I'm going to load the data. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just have, you know, um, for example, I'm having a course name. I'm going to retrieve the data. I'm going to 
set with the course name equal to angular okay i'm going to set out a few seconds so let me getting into that html just change into course name course name course name make sure it's there okay I'm just running the application let's see how it works let me getting into that before that let me add a, one of the link in that uh, app routing sorry app.component HTML. So let me add one more navigation link. Here I am going to add prefetch So I just create it. Let me run that application now. Okay. So let me load. And let's see that when my course name is displayed after that. So actually we didn't subscribe here. So what we are supposed to do, we just have to return. to subscribe and this that course name equal to data so let me check now okay well so so we are just you know we are mimicking that one this is a this looks like a uh, mocking the ap call okay so after five seconds we'll get the data from uh, api you know and then after we are subscribing to that one then, and then after that we are setting that course name here okay so if you see that one when i am just loading this one if you see that one we are showing here course name okay so and then we are loading that uh, the value after retrieving from the api okay so if you don't want to show this one what you will do usually so you supposed to put here you know uh, everything under the one container ng or div and uh, what you supposed to put you know you have to put like ng like uh, course name dot length should be greater than zero okay if you are putting that one so what will happen it won't show that one until you fetch in the data okay you see that one so this is the way we will implement by default okay so if you see that one every time we have to put like this this kind of you know condition okay to avoid that one we can go with the resolver so that resolver will fetch the data and then only that component will be loaded okay let's see that one how we can implement that one now i'm going to create one service okay resolve service okay let me create uh, 
कोर्स कोर्स डेटा नाउ सर्विस इज क्रिएटेड okay so what i have to do here i have to implement that results resolve okay so what i have to do resolve i have to specify the type i can specify just i'm going to return the string by the course name so i have to implement that method to resolve here i'm just clearing this one and uh, I'm not going to use these two object right now okay basically this resolve uh, method what it will uh, we can return is an observable or promise okay so what I'm going to do here I'm going to return the data okay I'm going to return the data. React. Let me put some delay here. Instead, I can put I just uh, let me just return the data right now. And uh, what I have to do here in the routing model, I have to specify my resolver. Okay, so here I have to specify the resolver. So here you can specify any uh, it's a name key name. For example, uh, quotes data I'm mentioning here. So what you have to specify, you have to specify that uh, course data service here. Okay. So what will happen now? So, but we, once it is loaded, whenever this uh, compiled is, uh, we are trying to load, it will go and call the service and uh, load the data and putting into this object okay but how we can use this one here in the component let's see that one for that to use that one what we have to do we have to we use that activated route to get the value of route value so activated route okay now what I'm going to do I'm just going to comment this one instead what I'm going to do this dot course name equal to this dot activated route equal to data dot and let me subscribe what I can do let me first subscribe here okay let me subscribe I'm going to specify 
this dot course name equal to data dot course data so for that let me console the log of data and see what is written from there okay so let me run this application let's see excellent okay if you see that one let me see the console uh, it's written from that service okay so basically uh, what is happening here after the service is returned the data from here it will load this component i am just subscribing to this one so what will happen automatically i can get the data of that route object which i have defined here okay this is a way we can implement the route resolver basically it's to prefetch the data before loading the component okay hope you enjoyed and understand that one how to implement the route resolver please subscribe if you would like to see more tech videos like this thank you